Hey, this is Tim Tibbetts of MajorGeek.com, and this is a brief tutorial on using Advanced System Care Free from IOBit. I should mention that brief is a bit of a lie in this case. I don't know if I can cover this in under five minutes, which is usually my goal, but I'm going to do my best, and we're just going to show you the basics of the program, and then we're going to kind of briefly look at some of the additional geeky stuff that you can get into without going into too much detail. Otherwise, it would probably be a 20-minute tutorial. Who's got time for that? Basically, if you're looking at the front screen, it's going to keep track of everything, the program version, the latest news to make sure you're up to date. Uh, you can click here because although this is completely free, there are some additional features you can get. I think it's around $12.95. And frankly, for me personally, anything in the $10, $12 range, if I liked the program, I'd probably buy it just because you know it's a way to to give back even if I don't need the extra features uh, it has a why it'll take you to the website if you click this open it up and tell you what you're going to get for your twelve or thirteen dollars on the main window you've got a few things here you have your main care just click and go that's the one thing I like about the iobit stuff all you have to do is just one click and you can go or you can come over here to maintain windows and you can actually scan manually as well as diagnose and scan manually so if you just wanted to clean things you could come here and just do the clean if you wanted to just simply do the diagnose and check things over, you could simply come over here and do that. Under utilities, which we'll come back to, are a whole pile of utilities. This is not run in the basic care. This is all stuff to get a little geekier with it. So if we hit care, it's going to start doing the spyware removal, which is using IOBits tools to scan your machine for any spyware. It's going to follow that up with a registry fix and basically that's going to scan your registry for errors again you usually don't get a lot of performance probably no performance increase from that but there is a registry defrag built into the program that you can get that's always a good thing to run which is why I say that the one click is great we can get to the geeky stuff whenever you want your privacy sweep which is going to erase your internet history and all your surfing tracks uh, small images that it's saved URLs that you've gone to and stuff like that then it's going to roll on over into the care it's actually going a lot faster than I expected your system optimization, it'll tell you if there's any problems that you can optimize. Your security defense to prevent spyware from being installed. Disk defragmentation, which is great. And finally, your security analyzer, see if there's any hijacks or any issues with the security on your machine. It'll give you all the details, and actually even while it's scanning, you can click these and take a look and get the details. And there it is, it's done. You can actually, at this point, if you're just looking for an all-in-one system to clean your machine, you're done, you can actually clon close the program. You want to keep in mind there's actually some restore built right into the thing as you're running it. But if you want to get into the restore, you can take a look here at some of the scans you've recently done. And you can come back in and undo the changes. You can delete the backups, which is great because if you have a problem with your machine, which is probably one of the big concerns for somebody that's not too geeky, is you're going to run these programs. It's going to go blind. It's going to do all these wonderful things for you. And then something doesn't work right. That's what people are afraid of. This should give you a little security on that, as well as being able to simply create a restore point in the program and view your system restore in case you want to use your system restore to go back to before you ran it. I've run advanced system care since it came under a different name which I can't even remember right now. Uh, we're talking about years now and so I've run it on numerous systems and never had a problem with it. So let's get a little bit geeky here and head on over into the utility. Some of the things I can't show you, this is probably my fifth take doing this video because I kept clicking on one of the things that showed my Windows key. You have your disk cleaner shortcut. You have your disk doctor shortcut, which is, I like it because sometimes it's difficult to scan your disk for errors. This is built into the program. It's right there for you. As you can see, I ran it the other day. I enjoy that a lot. Your, your game booster, which we have a video of that up. It's a nice little program. Your internet booster, which can tweak hidden settings. I'm personally not a big fan. For the most part, Windows 7 is well optimized for broadband. But if you've got to play with the internet booster, I think you could do the auto optimization and simply by clicking on go you select whatever your bandwidth um, is and you can click here to test your bandwidth if you're not sure but if you if you're a little geeky you're going to go into expert mode and as you can see you can pick wherever you want to be for your internet bandwidth and you can manage all sorts of stuff I've actually gone ahead for kicks and run this internet booster in auto mode and had absolutely no problems with it. Smart defrag, which you might be familiar with from IOBit. Registry defrag, I think that's probably worth going in and playing with. Registry defrag, unlike registry cleaning, can actually optimize your registry just like disk defragmentation optimizes your drive. You can actually get a little performance increase from that. 
invalid shortcuts, and Smart RAM, which will manage your RAM. As you can see, you have your settings. You can take a look at how much memory you're using, how much is free, and you can absolutely, <coughs> excuse me, optionally free up your RAM. Under Security tab, you have your driver backup. You have your file shredder to completely get rid of files. IOBit Security 360, IE Security Assistance, which can be this can be handy because you're going to manage your plugins, your browser helper objects, and different things like that. It's always a good idea to take a look, make sure nothing's hijacked your browser. System Backup, System File Checker, Administrative Tools, Auto Shutdown, Look for Clone Files, Context Menu Manager, Disk Explorer, Restore Center, which we've shown you already, uh, Uninstall Unwanted App, which is basically the IOBit uh, uninstaller, and it'll hopefully completely remove stuff for you. The Startup Manager, which you got to be yeah, a little geeky with this. You got to be careful. I have my antivirus running, my RSS reader. You don't want to disable any of your security stuff. So if you're not sure, a lot of times you can Google this stuff as well to see what you can and can't remove. System information is great. It's going to tell you what kind of operating system, what kind of hardware. This is nice if somebody's working on your computer remotely and you need to tell them what's on your machine. That's the one I can't launch. I'm finally going to remember this time because I keep giving away my Windows key. And wow, we're over six minutes already and your Windows Manager. I'm probably going to kill this here because we've gone a lot longer than I want to, but I think the big point here that I want to get across is you can simply download this program, click Care, manage your machine in one simple click, or you can get as geeky as you want to get with it. And even though I hate to run a little longer, the options are a good example. There's not much here you want to play with. I always remove Start, at Windows, uh, start with Windows. I'm not a fan of that. Integration with your right click, basically. Show your balloon tips. And here, a lot of this stuff, you really got to know what you're doing in here. Uh, if you're a geek reading, watching this, you know what you can and what you can't do. But you can automate stuff, uh, optimize whenever you want, choose what level of optimization you want, basic, home user, so on and so forth. And the same goes with the uh, skipping the large files and the defragmentation, which I've mentioned in other tutorials we've done and the smart defragment which is under the pro and it's going to intelligently optimize your drive which is not included in advanced system care your update options your backup options and on and on and on we go and it could take a while anyway give the program a try there's a link down below in the description I hope this was a help to you and we'll see you next time thanks